So traders, I'm done trading for the day. As you can see, I'm up $22,000 and still riding. Um, so just over 23,000 riding Tesla. BAB is out. Actually, the only one I still have is uh, Tesla. So just one relatively small loser in PFE. I know uh, Scott's still riding this one and doing uh, good. Um, I moved out a little bit uh, earlier, so I've got a loser in PFE. But uh, look at uh, BIAB. Uh, BIAB started with a very big gap down today. And as you can see, it did exactly what it was expected to do, meaning a gap and go. So a big gap down by the book, short, close to the lows and came down very, very nicely. Although I had some technical issues with um, other of you guys. I mean, I'm not the only one who had some issues, but that only lasted for the first few minutes. So ended up making money in BAB. Now the best uh, second trade would be uh, Tesla. Take a look at Tesla. An amazing technical formation right here at the highs. And uh, the way Tesla just came down under that was very, very nice. I mean, initially just came very little, but then it moved up and continued with the trend. One thing you need to remember when you're watching a trade like Tesla is that, yes, you do click the button and you expect it to come down to your target real quick, but you know, stocks don't really care where is your entry point. So the fact is Tesla just kept downtrending as it should. So if you look at uh, the high, and then a lower high and then the lower high, although that was a point where I was in red for a while. But then it came down and it did exactly what it was anticipated to do. Just a very nice downtrade formation and um, uh, doing very, very well. So Tesla was my uh, was a $10,000 winner for me and I'm still riding it. So did very, very well in Tesla. Uh, kind of same story with, no, not really, uh, Boeing. Take a look at Boeing. Boeing was a different kind of trade. I decided to short Boeing right over here. Main reason for that was because Boeing was at the highs, but airlines were coming down. So at that point, I saw the airlines. Airlines were coming down. All of them gapped up quite a bit today. Airlines, Boeing, and everything. So... Um, when I saw the airlines coming down and Boeing still holding to the highs, I thought Boeing should come down with the airlines. I was right. But then again, it started moving higher later. I moved out of my rest. It still was a nice, uh, relatively small winner. So did well with Boeing too. One more thing about Tesla. The thing that really happened here and helped it come down after all, wasn't only the nice technical formation here, but also the fact that the S&P at that point was looking for a new low. It happened somewhere around here. And I thought the S&P is likely to come down and it did. So once you get uh, the backwind from the S&P, the S&P pushed down and Tesla had a nice technical formation for a short there. Then just everything clicked together and all was well. So I've got a very nice day to start my week with uh, over $23,000 in green. And um, Good luck to all of you guys who are in the World Series of Day Trading. So competition did start today and I know it did start uh, again with a few minutes of some technical issues. But uh, as far as we know, most of you guys did well. So good luck. Hope you're going to continue doing well and uh, see you all tomorrow. Bye traders. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to take Traders' free welcome course. It was designed to teach you the basics of Wall Street trading. Click here to sign up for this no-risk, no-cost offer. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.